Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover and let's have a good day in, in this game playing as the good old Russian SFSR. So right now we are going to continue helping out the lovely great people in Republic in Spain and with some of our tank divisions that are pretty freaking well adapted to the situation here. So right now I'm just going to let them go ahead and do whatever they feel like. Well. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. But maybe it was. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Give him a little boost. And I'll take a quick look at China over here. Okay, so we're still defending. Really, not much is going on. Um, there's really much that I could have done. Uh, let's see. The Poles refuse the German ultimatum. So, we'll see what happens. Probably Germany will go to war with Poland very soon. And... Honestly, I don't want to get at war with the Allies. Since Poland is guaranteed by... Ro and they're also in the alliance, the allies alliance or faction. So no thanks, not interested in that at the moment. Uh, we do want to finish off, okay there we go. I want to say we were going to help finish off Spain. But there go the Poles and I'm not going to help the Poles out. As much as I don't care for fascists, <clears throat> I also don't care for the Poles who should have been part of our country to begin with. So, we'll see what happens. I don't definitely, I definitely don't need a war with Germany anytime soon. <clears throat> Excuse me, our military is, well, it could definitely be better, especially on the European front. But, you know, you can only do so much. So, let's see, right now we have a deficit of about 8,000 guns and about 800 support equipment. And we're working to rect rectify that as fast as possible. Let's see, we're currently building up quite a bit of things here. Go ahead and throw on another mm, military factory here. <clears throat> That'll be good. I continually want to keep building at least one line of civilian factories to begin with. Just because I think that would be good to keep improving that until we get... Until we have, I don't know, 150 civilian factories so that we can we can build whatever we want, whenever we want, and whatever we need. You know, I think that'd be a good idea. So, actually, do you guys... Did I even give you orders? Yeah, get up to here. Give you guys some time, maybe to plan a little bit. Get over where you need to be. Have a good time with whatever, whomever, with whatever, you know. And we're defending Burgos very, very well. Alright, that's enough planning. Yeah, the Nationalists are pretty much defeated at this point. It's just a matter of taking land now. Warsaw is falling. And just to be clear who is in the Axis, pretty much everyone in Central and Central Eastern Europe. Not the Baltics or Finland. Or Yugoslavia, Greece, or Albania. Just Germany, including Italy... Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria. I think that's it. Yeah, and the Allies are of course there. And I don't want to go to war with the Allies. That's a bad idea. So how's Italy doing on this front? They have managed to push into Provence a little bit. While the French... Uh, ooh, no longer gets affection from an industrial push. That sucks. While the French have taken a little part of Savoy. Ooh, looks like the Italians are actually pushing in. Uh, yeah, I want to be a little bit careful about Italy because they do have a... Pretty awesome focus tree in row to 56. Really, really cool. Really thought out, fleshed out really well. Just so much better than Vanilla Hoy 4's focus tree. Just incredibly better. And Poland had no chance, especially when getting attacked from Romania and Germany and Slovakia. And I guess from Prussia as well. Oh, we have 173 political power that I kind of forgot about. We can build more steel. I'm going to wait on that. We definitely will need a little bit more manpower. We're developing Vladivostok at the moment. And once we're done with that... Oh, we need more than 300 factories. Um, What should we do? We have so many focuses. State of Perpetual Warfare sounds like a really fun thing to do. But I don't want to justify anybody on anyone in which the Allies will go to war with me until we're really ready to go to war. So we're probably not going to do that. A gun in every hand sounds fun. But they're... That means guns are less reliable. Right, BB? And then Workers of the World. I really like Workers of the World, but whatever. Uh, we are joined here today by my cat named Binky. So, hello Binky. He's on my bed. Let's see. Next one we'll do, just so that we know what we're going to do next. Um, infrastructure is always good. Science. I need to keep an eye on my stability. I want more population. Factory output would actually be pretty good. Social science is what we might do. Uh, let's see. Assembly line production. You know what? We'll probably actually do steel industry just because we'll get a bonus to 
assembly line production and a little bit more steel so that we get a bonus to research because 1940 is a huge year for research massive year uh first of all let's first of all go to we're only on volunteer only let's go to limited conscription but yeah 1940 you got to develop all sorts of different planes all sorts of different ships nice Warsaw has fallen and a little bit in electronics and stuff like that so 1940 is definitely a year that has a ton of things that you have to research to be you know caught up to everyone else so good recon company 2 is done mm, could i potentially do heavy fighter ahead of time 191 days isn't bad let's do that outdated equipment sure poland is gone hopefully germany will give me some of those goody lands i love land because we had the molotov ribbentrop pact so that actually actually you know oh we have claims on these guys already nice Go ahead and do that. Take claim state. 25 days. Oh, yeah. 25 days, baby. Uh, 125 days. That might be a little bit too little for me. But you never know. You guys, go ahead and start surrounding Finland. Because I'm sure we've got claims on Karelia. Yeah, or the Karjalankanas. Exactly. I speak fluent Finnish. Usima. I speak fluent Flemish. Finnish. F word, yeah. And Germany honors the pact. In accordance with the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact, German forces have evacuated Eastern Poland and our own troops have moved in to occupy the territory. Excellent. Excellent. Great. The frontiers of communism are advancing. Very positive, friends. Very, very positive. Ooh, unyielding defender. Actually, that could be really useful. Especially if we go to war with the Axis. So, awesome, guys. Thanks for the land. Thanks for the free factories. That's actually, that's actually really awesome. Uh, let's see. More military factories. We need production. We need so much production. It's not even funny. Oh, what is this? Kharkov. Sounds like a great place to be. At least for the Russian SFSR. I can't believe the Spanish Civil War is actually still going. Oh, but yeah, whatever. 25 days, we should have Latvia by the balls. And we should have a good time with them. Yeah, these guys are getting pretty darn experienced. I love it. We are out of our deficit of infantry equipment. Quickly going to get out of our deficit of support equipment as well. And we can up uh, liberate Latvia. Yeah, liberate. Latvia cannot expect to withstand the might of the Red Army. If we send a demand for the basing rights and control their border security, we can effectively annex them without fighting. Send the ultimatum. Uh, actually, you know what? The guys on this border. This might be a bad idea. The Germans might want to attack me, actually. But you know what? I'm going to risk it. Because right now we just need more and more support companies or support equipment. That's really what we need. Be develop steel mills. Well, we got enough steel. We need more rubber though. And just in case Latvia says nine or no. Oh, Anglo Irish trade war ends. Uh well, obviously I think our soldiers will be good enough to attack, so. Ah yes, we pushed nationalists back into Galicia. And Latvia has submitted! The Latvian government in Riga has agreed to our demands and we have replaced the corrupt rule with a people's assembly. This body is unanimously voted to request membership in a great union as a Soviet socialist republic. Glorious, I love it. Uh, right now, let's go ahead and get Lithuania next. It only takes 75 days, wow, that's actually quite a while. Uh, what about Estonia? 45 days, that's a little better. <clears throat> awesome. The Euro up next. We've got a few couple soldiers here. Nice. Oh, we still have some soldiers down here. Uh, the thing with Japan, I think, is over. So let's go ahead. Get rid of that. I do want to take out Mongolia eventually because they're not in our faction anymore. And I don't think the US or really any of the allies of French or the British will guarantee their independence if they're communist. At least... You know, all the way in Asia where no one can really help them out. Oh, look at this. All of these five divisions have become glorious soldiers. I absolutely love it. Ooh, and we can increase this by 11 more planes. Yes, please. We have so much air XP. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And we've developed Vladivostok, giving us two more civilian factories, two more military factories, and what's next? Steel improvements, please. More steel for things that we don't actually need but we get assembly line production which will help us help us help us with our research yeah it's gonna help us cool uh you guys go ahead and join these guys over here uh i'm a little concerned about the infrastructure up here but whatever 
let's see, we're going to be producing a crap ton of factories. Uh, for right now, you guys switch over to the PPSH-41s. Just in case, do that. Medium bombers, I'm going to need more of you guys. Heavy tanks are actually doing fairly decently. Heavy fighters, obviously we're going to need a lot of those. A lot of artillery. Yeah. Fighters, I'm going to get rid of fighters eventually. That honestly doesn't look too bad. Light tanks. Oh, armored cars. Are, that's kind of cool. Infrastructure. Oh, do we actually want to begin building a lot more infrastructure? Actually, you are over here. But what about the infrastructure around here? Seven, six... Ooh, four. That's not good. I'm actually going to probably build that up first. That sounds actually like a good idea because we're going to have a lot of... I mean, a ton of soldiers on this front, so... Uh, level five. Constantine is doing a great, great job. How about the field marshal? Ooh, mountain infantry too. Great as well. That's 137 days. Go ahead and get work on 1940s technology. I think that'd be awesome. Just, these guys are veterans. Level one. Fernando, Fernando Baron E. Ortiz, you have no chance of winning, and you pretty much are all going to die in Vigo, if that's how you pronounce it. Kind of surprised the Nationalists haven't capitulated yet. How are the Chinese doing? <clears throat> oh, we have been almost surrounded. Uh, actually, this is extremely terrifying right now. Go ahead and retreat, and come over to here. Yeah, go ahead and just retreat. That's, that's definitely for the best. Kirill Meretskov. You have nothing of interest for me. Great. You disappointed me. Uh, ooh. Ooh, Chibikov. Yeah. Do this guy. He sounds like fun. He sounds like a lot of fun. Got a little more political power. Oh, modify our government. Less army XP. I don't want to get less army XP until we're done with our land doctrine, probably. Mm, disperse fighting. Very good. Army morale's not bad, but I'm going to save up a little bit more of my political power, my PP. Uh, 1940s, obviously our artillery's already done. Land auction's going well. Armor, we have to wait till 1941 to get more heavy tanks. We could do, <clears throat> excuse me, that. We could do, we could have done field hospitals, but I think we're going to wait on that. Go ahead, uh, you know what, maybe that's a little too far. Go ahead and hold. Defend the front line here or something. Actually, you know what? Let's do this a little better. Right here, up to... No. You know what? I kind of like it like over here, since they're already getting attacked. Good, good, good. Oh, look at this. Lovely. And... These two nationalist divisions are gone. This nationalist... Or, Republican Spain will be a great, great ally for us. Um... You know what? Actually, I'm a little concerned for France. They might need a little bit of help. How many divisions can I... S seven. Oh, seven infantry divisions. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. France, you probably will need some guys to help you defend your land since you are already at war with Italy. So. That'll be good. National Spain was annexed. Great. So we have the Republicans. I didn't think we'd actually win that war. To a degree, just because... The Republicans were getting beaten back pretty hard until we really stepped... Oh. Republic Republic of Turkey has joined the Allies. Now, this is definitely ahistorical. Now they're fighting the Axis. Um. Okay. Sure. Because why not? Because once France and Belgium has fallen, the Axis is going to go straight down to Turkey, squash them out, squash... Syria and Lebanon and is and, and um, not the I word but this area yeah this is not gonna work out very well for you probably in the long term if it does great if it doesn't you're screwed I uh, keep coming back over here can I send planes I can send up to 200 some planes hmm do I have any heavy fighters yet oh I didn't need an air force okay never mind did I need the air force you know Oh, we're out of guns again. God dang it. Uh, come on, guys. More guns, please. Oh, we need more rubber. Mm, oh, oppressed Estonia. Send the ultimatum. If they say no, well, you know how that, how we're going to react. No longer gets the effects from industrial push. It's kind of fine. Plessy. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Come on, you guys. You know you want to falter. Oh, desert and jungle clothing. Ooh, I did not know I was doing this, but we got more recovery rate, which sounds kind of nice. 
In terms of engineering, oh, it's 1939. I should have been doing some of this stuff. Improved fire control still lowers your reliability. It's not worth it yet. And we got a bonus for this. Oh, heck yeah. Give me more research speed. Because in Road to 56, if you get enough research speed, you can research almost anything extremely quickly. It's, I would say, not broken, but it's almost overpowered. Hey, we arrived in Normandy. Oh, wait, Estonia submits. Ah, uh, look at this. This is an interesting picture. This, where is this? Oh, I see. This, this is Estonia. So this makes sense. Oh, coming across there. There's a little bit of a lake. Found it. Welcome to the Union, comrades. Cool. And we're going to bully, I mean, liberate and help out Lithuania next. Because they take quite a while. And then we'll go to war with Finland. I'm actually probably going to go to war with them. Ooh, only 70 days. I thought it was 100-some. Nice. You guys, up next. Up next. On how to defend France. You probably want to start with a general. Uh, Constantine doesn't have his divisions because they're on their way home. Uh, or they're already home. So, I thought I had Zukov here. Maybe not. Maybe it gets unlocked later. Uh, Ivan! Ivan, my man. You can do this. You can defend well. Uh, Gregory Kulak, even though he's an old guard and politically connected, he's still got Panzer Leader, Offensive Doctrine, Unyielding Defender, and Inflexible Strategist, which is probably something we exactly need for this type of war. In Asia, I'm going to put you over Soviet theater here. Constantine is here. Great, great, great. And how... Have I lost my divisions yet in China? Oh, yeah. Send the ultimatum to Lithuania. Um, no, we haven't lost her yet. We're doing pretty well, though. We're becoming a level 4 general with Kirill Meretskov. Great. 232 factories, which is amazing. Um, I, we're already building one infrastructure. I don't need another. But what I will add is currently... Radar. Oh, Leon Trotsky brings a revolution to Lithuania. I love it. I absolutely love it. Cool. Uh, we're actually on... We're positive for everything, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. Positive for everything, including guns. Lithuania submits. Thank the Lord. And now we've got a whole 24 stack of divisions to defend against the entire border against the Axis. Great. Oh, and the Allies are invading... Different areas, so that's not good for them. But that's okay with me. Cool. Asia, you're doing alright. Where are you? You are over here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get Finland. Oh, goodness. Um, It takes 20 days. I don't want to go to war with them. Oh, crap. I already justified on them, and they're being guaranteed by the UK. I hope they submit, because if they don't, I'm not going to go to war with the Allies just yet. There's no way I want to do that. I. Our Navy is definitely not prepared. I mean, I can defend my lands pretty darn well, but then I had to defend Iran from British Raj and stuff like that, and that's a giant flipping mess that I don't want to get involved in just just yet. I will take out the Finns eventually, though. Just you wait. I will definitely take them out. So I hope the Finns submit. Um, this is looking a little awkward, not going to lie. So let's start back here and do that. Something tells me, I think, I am think. This part of Alsace Lorraine is okay. This part of Alsace Lorraine is okay. Metz is still okay, but with this many divisions, we should be able to help hold the, the line for quite a while. We won't be able to hold it indefinitely, but for quite a while. Uh, for now, you know what? I'm going to improve worker conditions because I could use a little bit more stability. Because eventually, we will have a focus where we lose weekly stability for like almost a year. So I'm going to need as much stability as possible. That looks good. Deficits? Nope. You guys are making a ton of infantry divisions, which is great. Even though they have no anti-tank and they're only infantry, that's okay. We didn't need it anyways. Yeah, this is going to be my no anti-tank uh, with the Soviet Union playthrough, probably. Let's see what happened with the Finns, if they'll submit or not. I don't know. Because I definitely don't want to go to war with the, with the Allies just yet. I just can't afford it. How are the coasts doing? Do I need to change these guys up? There's six. Remove one. Ten combat width is really nice. Definitely give them engineers. Give them support artillery. Give them... Recon. Actually, support anti-air might actually be a good thing to add. I probably actually will add that later on. Good, 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 good. Another full stack. And we're already losing the battle in France. Okay, then. Um... That's really not good. 
Oh, steel industry improvements. Awesome. We could use definitely more rubber. Hmm, and construction tech. State of labor unions. More political power and factory output. Bonus for industry. Uh, I'll wait for this stuff. Hmm, found the PCDI. 35 days. Civilian factories. To militarize schools is actually not bad. Yeah, we probably want to do this since we do get a bonus for land auction eventually. Let's do that. Go ahead and do this. And the Germans are definitely trying to get us out of certain areas here. This has no... Champagne has no forts. Oh, these guys are going to get definitely... This guy's going to get learned. He's going to get real learned. Regimental combat teams, great. 132 days for that. Just defend, defend, defend. He's a ranger. Grigory Kulak is doing all right. If we lose down there, so be it. How many times will I have to justify on these guys? Oh, look at this. Communist China is surrounded. I am a little concerned about this. Maybe I should be a little bit more than concerned. Uh, go ahead and get rid of that. Go ahead and try to defend the capital. Because if we lose the capital, it's pretty much all over. Yeah, go ahead and retreat. Oh, these guys are veterans. What is the current status of the Chinese Civil War? polish german War? Well, let's see. That's not a lot of losses compared to everyone else. Demand Karjala. Alright, so... Finland cannot expect to withstand the might of the Red Army. If we send them a demand for a rightfully claimed land in Karjala, they might just hand it over without a fight. Come on, baby. Please give it over. If they don't, I'm not going to go to war. Not yet. I just can't avoid... I can't afford war with the UK and France. Since I am helping the French. Oh, they busted through Sedan. Oh, no. This is not good. You know what? Clean this up just a little bit more. There you go. Uh, yeah, you definitely don't need to be all over here. Go ahead and move your line around. Oh, the Germans are breaking through. And it's only December 1939, which means that the Germans will probably invade me. And they said no. Well then. I need more units. Anyways, um, I'm not going to go to war with them. So, not yet. And I have a permanent claim on them anyways. Let's switch these armies around real quick. Do that. To do that. And then you guys come up here next to the Finns. There you go. Darn it, I wish they would have submitted to us, but whatever. I should not have justified on them earlier, but whatever. I'm sure the Finns will actually probably declare war. Or ju Oh. Okay, they canceled their non-aggression pact. It's only December. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to have to redo this. See, uh, just in case, I need a fallback line since the front line mechanic won't exactly work with the border with Hungary and the Romanians, and I don't need any sort of surprise like that. And just in case, coastline. Yeah, definitely guard all the coastline up here. We need to make some more coastline divisions. 19, so be it. Train about... Train three at a time. Three at a time is probably good enough. Come up there. Join him. Cool. Awesome. We're out of support equipment again. Dang it. Do that. Two more for those. No longer get effect of industrial push. Oh, de oh my goodness. I should pay more attention to this. And make me a few more civilian factories. It's not bad. That should be pretty good. Palestine well, is pretty good. We're almost done with the radar station, which is probably pretty important. Nice, nice, nice. Pretty good so far. Pretty good. I'm a little concerned that Germany did already end our non-aggression pact. I mean, I'm expecting them to eventually break the Molotov Ribbon Ribbentrop Pact, but that's in December 1940. Found this. Good, 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 good. Militarized schools for an extra land auction. Yes, please. Yes, Daddy. And that'll give us more army XP, a little bit. Every army leader adds planning skill to 1.4% more population. And a planning skill level of new army leaders, plus 1. Oh, they broke through France. Typical Germany. What is a German war machine like? Strengthen the German state. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of manpower. I'm kind of surprised that actually France has been able to hold southern France pretty well. Usually in most of my games, they aren't able to hold this well. 
Usually Italy is actually pretty strong ever since Man the Guns dropped, so definitely see what happens. Mm. Let's reduce the speed a little bit. And let's just make sure we focus a little bit more on defending these lands. Since I don't think Belgium's gonna hold anyways. So sorry Belgium, but you gotta face the facts. The Romanians are here. So be it. Uh, let's see. Definitely want to build some more refineries. 252 factories isn't bad. Heavy. Oh, we actually have a, over a hundred planes for heavy fighters. And I got nowhere to put them. All right. Very nice. Go ahead and put you over here. A hundred heavy fighters isn't going to do a single thing to anybody, but whatever. Great, great, great. It is 1940. So happy 1940, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. As our soldiers are not able to defend the lands that I told them to defend because the German AI is fairly strong. Fairly, fairly strong. But we have a lot of support, uh, a lot of equipment in reserves, which is great. Which is what we're going to really, really need. I said this earlier that this wasn't going to be... Ooh, this is not work. This is not good. Um, mm, I'm going to turn these into regular, just motorized infantry divisions. I'm going to make these huge infantry divisions. Uh, motorized. 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 Hey, motorized. Cool. Motorized. Even though I only have one of these divisions, but whatever. And you're definitely going to need some equipment on here. Hmm. Logistics. Recons. Cool. That costs way too much to do for a single division. But whatever. You guys, uh, hold on if you can. Chinese divisions, how are you doing? You are defending your mountainous territory against the dastardly Japanese. I'm su kind of surprised Yunnan has been able to hold on for this long, but something tells me we might just get cut off. We're probably going to get cut off. The infrastructure is terrible over here. Karel doing a great job. He's learning a lot. But ooh, baby. Yeah, go ahead and de keep defending. Keep winning. Uh, we got one more division to throw on here. Great. Who are you? Oh, yeah, you're like that. Okay, and we have our tanks, too. Um, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Pause it real quick. You should be... Oh, uh, we put you on... We put Gregory, the person, somewhere else. Alexander Velasvisky? No, 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 no. I want someone who's... Okay. Ivan? Or Dimitri? Dimitri. I love Dimitri. Hey, Dimitri. Nico, you want to go bowling? Uh, offensive doctrine, definitely for that, since, well, tanks are usually going to be on the attack. 1940. Let's get some better... Oh, we're already doing that. We need to do this, too. Cool. Oh, we got some more divisions for our Asian side of the hemisphere. Great. Actually, go ahead and reorganize the line, just because we can help make sure that our line is a little bit more equal on all fronts. Ah, uh, yes. Equal. I love the word equal. I love it so much. Go ahead, throw them on here. Throw them over here. Under new general. Under new management. Cool. And it looks like I'm going to redo the front line. God dang it. Uh, or the fallback line, yeah. Fallback. I hate how you can still cannot put a front line against an entire enemy faction that has one continuous line. Kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Kind of, kind of don't like that. But, nothing I can do. Paris has fallen. Our soldiers just cannot stop the German beast. Oh. I thought I sent seven divisions. Did my soldiers, they literally died trying to help defend against the Germans. That's not good. I lost 55,000 manpower. Jesus. But we do have a pretty good win ratio. As long as you got that win ratio, right? You're okay. Yeah, don't do... Um... Last stand, if you know the Germans are going to push you in for so hard. Push you poop in very hard. God dang it. I'm not trying to get into war right now, guys. Come on. And I will do eventually Institute Press Censorship since we are losing some communist support. So, People's Commissioned Commissariat of Defense Industry. Yeah, our guys. The Germans just strong. Very strong. What is the war between... Oh, goodness. No, the communist Chinese are going to lose. Uh, Germans have lost almost very little. Holy cow. The French haven't lost that much. They're not really close to capitulation either. Huh. The Belgians lost quite a few. The Italians lost, lost quite a few. The war against the Germans and me is going to be deadly, to say the least. 
quite deadly. And... Uh, oh, no. Oh, well, why? Japan, why? This is disgusting. No, 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 no. Um, for you guys, Chinese Empire, you look communist because you're pink? And you have Yunnan? Hmm. Give, just give this to Japan. And take, like, a piece of territory back or something. Like, I don't know. How many people were here? 1.68 million? Uh, there's really no good place. Give them, like, this. And this. And just transfer this over. Do they have a core on this? Yeah, they do. Uh, for the millions parts... There's so many Chinese people. And give them... Yeah, give them Qinghai or whatever, however you pronounce it. That's a little bit more balanced. That's a looks, that looks a little bit better. It's still not that great, but still a little bit better. Cool. Got better heavy fighters. That's good. Uh, engineering. 1939. We're waiting for this stuff. Get better radar. Because God knows we're going to definitely need that. Oh, and build more factories. Actually, build some more refineries, too. Do that. And then... Do that, and we have one more. We definitely want radar stations to understand where the enemies are at. This area down here, actually, level 3 out of 2. Cool. Uh, before we do that, definitely put some land forts here. Because the enemies are going to attack this area like crazy. You know what? Screw that. We're just going to build land forts everywhere. Ooh, if I can claim Bessarabia, that'd be great, too. Focus right now on lots and lots of forts. Not extremely great forts, but pretty good forts overall. Just the entire front line. Because I've played at the Soviet Union before as Germany, or against Germany, and let's just say it didn't go great, and I did lose some territory, but it didn't go terrible. Ah, uh, yes, our divisions are still holding out. I will end the episode soon. I just want to see what will happen for now. Oh yeah, just get... Hmm... What would that do? Less reliability? Uh, we could probably lower the weapons by one. And the engine by one. Over... Oh, that's still not good. So that's that's better. We lost a lot of that uh, air experience, but whatever. Improved computing machine, great. Get some of this next. Actually, we're about to get cut off. That's not good. Um, looks like the Germans are still advancing. Come over here. And try not to die. I mean, you're probably going to die, but... Just try not to. You need to come over here. And that's pretty much all that we can really do at the moment. I would have loved to go to war, obviously, with Finland, but... I'm not going to go to war with the UK and France just yet. And it looks like our soldiers were defeated, and these guys are actually probably going to die. Because there's nowhere for me to go. So... Uh... Yeah, there's nothing I can really do. I pretty much... I'm forced to just get rid of these guys. Yeah, if I leave them there, they're just going to die anyways. And at least at this point, I'll get 10% of the manpower left. So, that's really the only thing we could do. So, oh well. We tried to help defend France, but France didn't want to get defended anyways, apparently. So, regardless, guys. We might have lost China. We might have lost France. But that was pretty much expected. But we did help Republican Spain. So, go figure. But with that in mind, guys, that's all the time we have for today. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow where we might end up in a war with those despicable people called the Axis. Thank you very much for watching, guys.